Hey guys, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. It is January 15th. Um, it is about 9.30, 9.45. Heading to get some coffee before we uh, head out to Charlotte. My show time is at 10.30, so I've got plenty of time. Um, I'll be working with Shella again. One of my favorite coworkers. I don't know who's joining us as part of the crew, but it'll be fine. It'll be a fun flight. One leg. I have 25, 26 hours in Charlotte. That doesn't seem to be a lot to do for me in Charlotte. I looked at like the top 10 things to do in Charlotte. It starts with a bar crawl. Of course, it does in every city. But um, yeah, that doesn't really seem to be a ton for me to do. And our hotel is so far away from anything. It would cost a million dollars to get anywhere. So my plan is to just chill at the hotel. Um, yeah. There we go. I will see you guys probably in Charlotte. <gasps> look how tired I look. Oh my God, I am wiped. I'm not sure why I'm so tired. I had a good nap earlier this afternoon or yesterday afternoon. Uh, and uh, I was as prepared as I could be for this trip, but my God, I'm tired. The flight was pretty easy. We were full, 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 full. Uh, three and a half hours, about three and a half hours, which is nice and fast. We had a 140 knot. Uh, tailwind, so it pushed us across the country. A uh, little bit of turbulence. Uh, the only moment of interest, really, uh, was when one of our passengers rang his call bell and told me something was dripping on him. He was certainly minimizing what happened. Uh, his seat was there were puddles of liquid in his seat. Uh, someone had a bottle, a drinking, you know, a drinking bottle up in their bag in the overhead bin and it clearly was not sealed uh, and uh, the passenger's bag was saturated that had pooled into the overhead bin and was dripping down steadily raining on this passenger uh, who was the nicest man and handled it like a champ very very nice he even refused like a snack i was gonna get him a snack and a beverage as an apology but he's like no i'm all set so nice. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was the only thing that really happened on the whole flight. So really, really nice flight. My crew's awesome. You know, I, I went working with Shella and she is one of my favorite human beings. I have to treat her nicer though. <laughs> I'm always poking jokes at her and making fun and she's, you know, reciprocates, but she's so nice. I love Shella. Um, what else? What else? What else? Let's give you a quick room tour. I'm going to show you probably the most disturbing piece of furniture you've ever seen in your life. So disgusting. And I, I was looking in the closet for like a blanket or an extra sheet or something so I could cover it up because I don't even want to see it. It's that bad. All right. So there's a full length mirror. We've got a TV. There's a king size bed. It's nice. I like the wallpaper. It's very nice. Isn't that nice wallpaper? I love that. Uh, and then we've got this chaise lounge, which is so disturbing. Shouldn't there be a painting or something on that wall right there? It's kind of weird. But can you see? Can you see the stains all over this? Look. I mean, it's. I have. I. I literally am going to write a report. <laughs> Because this, this just looks like, I don't know, it's it's so vile. Um, even this curtain looks gross. Oh, something's wrong. But uh, there's the view of the highway. The sun is going to rise any moment. And there we are. Is that blood? Oh, really? All right. I need to sleep for a few hours. Uh, my layover, 35 hours. I forgot completely. We'll see what happens. I'll talk to you later. I'm just shrugging out of my coat and I realized, oh gee, where's my Starbucks cup? On the plane. $30 cup. I got those gift cards. I mean, so I can't feel so bad, but I love that cup and they're not available anymore. Hello there, I hope you're having a good day. It is 2.20 in the afternoon. The day and the weather have not improved vastly. With that being the view, I'm on the 19th floor in the executive level, of course. They knew where to put me. So I woke up at two o'clock, 
feeling mildly rested. I got maybe three hours of sleep because I was just scrolling on my phone, wah, wah, wah. And uh, so I decided to just pop on uh, Uber and see how much it would cost to go to the Mint Museum. I've never been, I've never, never really heard about it, but I knew it existed. And um, Uber was super cheap, it was like $15. And then I, I clicked it and it was somehow, somehow $10. I don't know how far away it is, but the driver is like seven miles away. So it's got to be something's, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of money in the end, I'm sure, because that's how things work. But um, I'm probably going to make a separate post regarding this and asking for you guys to please, 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 please remember, I have a social media policy. My work does. My, my place of employment does. I don't. Um, there's a social media policy where I really can't tell you who I work for. You all know who I work for. Um, so please resist the urge to include the name of the airline I work with because we all know who I work for. Just please. Because um, I just saw a message from a friend who had me look at the news and he told me the merger did not go through. A judge blocked it. So I don't know what's going to happen from here. <laughs> I really don't. Um, I don't know if the airline was, well, the executive team wanted this to happen. I don't know many flight attendants who wanted it to happen. It was a foregone conclusion. Everyone just assumed it was going to happen. It's not going to happen unless uh, my airline or J the other airline, JetBlue, decides to um, uh, appeal that decision. So we'll see what happens. But for now, the merger is not happening. So I don't even know how to feel about it right now. I've actually, I had come to accept it. But I'll do a separate video about that. Just just please resist the urge to include, include my, my company's name just because it's easier, okay? I'll talk to you later once this Uber has showed up. I am dizzy with the possibilities or the possibilities that have been removed. I don't know, God. Hey guys, hi. So I just got back to my hotel a little while ago after spending the afternoon at the Mint Museum in, uh, North, in Charlotte, North Carolina. An amazing time. Got to my room and looked at the ingredients I was gonna use to make chicken salad and thought, this doesn't seem very appealing right now. So I'm, I walked down to the Chili's, which is down around the corner from the hotel. So I'm gonna grab a bite at Chili. I haven't been to Chili's in decades. So I for, really forgot what, even what they make. But uh, yeah, I need to eat something. And then, I don't know, I'll see you later. <laughs> Look at the sky as I leave Chili's. Oh my gosh. That should be an advertisement for chilies. <laughs> but look how beautiful that sky is. <gasps> Gorgeous. Hey guys, how are you? So it's about 2.10 in the afternoon. My beard is a mess. Sorry, I just kind of crawled out of bed. Um, so I got like 10 hours of sleep last night in a row, nonstop. It was spectacular. Um, kind of lay in bed all late morning, early afternoon, literally just scrolling on my phone for a couple hours, just putts and time away. Very, very nice. And I had something, a little, little voice in the back of my head saying, you signed up for the 3 p.m. shuttle. I don't know why, because my, sh my showtime at the airport is 6.10. And so I went downstairs to get a soda so I can have that with my lunch. And I asked the front desk person, could you verify what time I, I signed up for the shuttle? She said 3 p.m. I'm an idiot. So I changed that real quick to 5 p.m. Um, I'm going to eat my lunch in a moment. Um, I had a moment or two where I was thinking of going back to Chili's because I, I had a burger yesterday. It was so good. But um, it was 19 degrees this morning. And it's probably, look at this. It's probably 25 degrees right now. Now, I've got plenty of food, got some chili and rice, and I've got the mixed fixins for some chicken salad if I really, really get desperate. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the afternoon so far. No, nothing else going on. Uh, just going to pop on my laptop for a little bit. Yeah, there you go. That's my, that's my layover. I will see you later on today, maybe on the way to the airport. 
Oh, remember that uh, chaise lounge? Oh my God, the air coming from the window was so cold. Um, remember that chaise lounge I showed you, the murder scene? Um, when I was downstairs getting my time, my shuttle time corrected, I said, hey, you know, can I show you a picture of something that's in my room? She goes, is it the furniture? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it's like a murder scene, like something out of Dexter. And she's like, yeah, I know. She wanted to see the photograph anyway out of just more big curiosity. But uh, so I showed her. She's like, yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She said, um, there's a company coming out to do some spot cleaning, I guess, on the upholstered fabric in the hotel sometime very soon. And I was like, well, great. It, it needs it. But yeah. I wanted to mention it just so that, you know, it doesn't continue, but it's the, it's the, it's the dried blood that really is the, the kicker. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have my lunch. I'll see you later on. I am so excited. Cloud surfing, Andy, I have missed her. She took a break from vlogging during the holidays, but she's back and I'm so excited. I love her. I am so glad Andy is filming again. I love her. I've never met her, and I, the odds of us meeting her are so slim, but I just adore her. Uh, if you don't know Cloud Surfing Andy, you got to watch her channel. She is unbelievable. Just a nice person. She's so good. She's so nice and thoughtful and consistent, and she's great. But uh, let's see. Look out the window. The view, very nice. The airport is right over there. That's the airport right there. I have done a look around the room to make sure I haven't left anything behind. Uh, like my water, my Starbucks cup, I'm still kicking myself over that. I'm not going to be able to find another one. Whatever. Um, I've got plenty of Starbucks cups I don't even use, so I shouldn't be too upset about it. Um, let's go to the airport. Hey there, at the airport, we got here super, super early and super quick, which is fine with me. Um, I did get randomed. I have not been randomed since, oh, it's been two weeks, which is weird. I usually get randomed all the time. It's been two weeks since I've been randomed. Uh, but because we're so early, I am off on the hunt for something sweet, like a scone or something, something good. And uh, then we will see you next in, um, where are we going? LA. See you soon. Me again, still in Charlotte. I just remembered I left my, one of my external batteries charging in the bathroom of our hotel. First my cup, then my battery. Well, that's a pretty sunset right there. Those cotton candy pinks. You can't see the, there's like a yellowish green between the pink and the purple. It's very strange. You can't see it on camera, but that's so pretty. They always put us at the end of the hallway. Getting my steps in. <laughs> hey guys, hi, welcome to LA. I just got in my room a few minutes ago, peeled off most of my uniform, uh, and I am ready for bed. It's probably about 10.30. At night, um, our showtime tomorrow is at noon, so we're gonna try and get like an 11:20 shuttle. So I want to go to good night's sleep and have time in the morning to eat something solid before I start my day. Tomorrow's gonna be a fairly long day, but um, this is our uh, short stay hotel, not my favorite one at all. Um, I'll show you a couple reasons why. Uh, but um, let's start with a little room tour, and then I'll debrief you on what our flight was like tonight. So over here. We're in the bathroom with the coolest wallpaper. I love this wallpaper. It's like a Goyard tote bag. And then out here, we've got a fridge, which um, historically has not been cold. You really have to go in there and, and, and check. Um, TV, seating area. This is the table I wanted for my house. When I bought my, my condo, this is the table. That's the table I wanted. It's from Ikea. It's called the Doxta. And I really wanted it, but they didn't have any in stock during the pandemic, of course. Yellow chairs, which should feel like home to me because you know, I fly in yellow airplanes. This is one of the things I really can't stand about this hotel. This room is actually fairly clean, except for this. What? Ha why is hotel furniture so abused? It looks like someone had a party or they murdered someone. Uh, I don't. I don't know what's going on, but... Like, whatever, whatever. But um, the room itself is fairly comfortable. The bed's good. But 
Just historically, I've not had a great experience with this hotel. The shuttle is horrible. You have to, like, fight hotel guests to get on the shuttle. But we'll see about that tomorrow. I like the artwork above the the bed. Very nice. This, uh, I don't know. But, yeah, it's an okay room. I don't pay for it. So, right, there you go. Um, The flight was nice. Uh, Five hours and four minutes. I'm not quite as beat up as I feel like I should be after such a long leg, but it's a good flight. Uh, We had a fair amount of turbulence. And of course, as is normal, passengers chose those times when it's most turbulent to get up out of their seat and find the bathroom. Um, The most notable example of that was um, we were just beginning a fairly rough patch of turbulence and it was I was just able to crawl up to row 16. They rang their call bell. Uh, the seatbelt sign's on. It's a little turbulent, but I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel it's always safe to say, hey, if it's an emergency, ring your call bell again, because that's something frequently we'll do. If it's too dangerous to walk, I want to know, is it an emergency? But you know, it could be. Who knows? So I, I make my way down there, holding on to all the art, the uh, handholds at the at the uh, the uh, overhead bins. I get to row sixteen. Can we order a drink? Are you? I didn't say are you serious, but no, no. I'm so sorry. It, it's not safe for me to be standing. Never mind serving. So later, and uh, I didn't say it honestly with as much love as I should have, but I was a little frustrated. You're putting my safety at risk because you wanted a soda? I don't know. But um, the only other fly in the ointment was another passenger. Uh, now, I I shouldn't judge because I don't know what she's going through. She is a very young mother with a very, very little baby. Just large enough to walk on its own, but still very, very small, like a baby toddler kind of thing. Um, I had to address her behavior like four different times with, through the whole spectrum of, of what she's doing wrong, what you could do wrong on an aircraft. The most um, blatant of things that she was doing, she lay down on her back with her feet up over on the hit on the, um, the fuselage on the wall of the aircraft. First, it's not a safe place way to sit on the aircraft. Second, it could potentially damage our walls. And third, she's sleeping in this position. Her little baby is crawling around on the floor and walking around into the aisle. And who knows? We hit a turbulence as we did during that flight. That baby's going to be hurt badly. And and the mom's just like oblivious, feet up. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, the flight was beyond those two major complaints, fairly normal. So I really can't complain too much. Um, I got a great night's sleep. I approached the day rested and well fed. So it could have been 10 times worse. Now uh, it is 1026 in the evening. I don't have to get downstairs until about 1120 tomorrow morning. So I've got a little bit of a light over here. Um, I'm going to make a sandwich, eat something, just jump on YouTube for a little while, watch some uh, the second half of uh, Cloud Surfing Andy's last video. And then I'm going to tuck into bed. All right. So I will see you tomorrow. It is a bright day out in LA. Go figure. Very strange. So, hey, it is 1057 in the morning. I'm going to head downstairs in a moment. That'll give me roughly 20 minutes before I've agreed to meet my crew uh, so that I can heat up some food and have something in my belly before we start our very long day. One of the things I don't like about this hotel, I mentioned yesterday that there's a couple. One of them is the hotel shuttle. There isn't a set schedule for the hotel shuttle, which it feels like it should, it's a, there's an easy remedy for that, you know, but there is no set schedule for the shuttle. Uh, and uh, airline crew does not get preference in terms of getting on or getting on first or making sure they get on at all. Uh, so we have to kind of fight for a seat on the shuttle. And at this hotel, it's kind of like a game of survivor. Uh, those These hotel guests, the, the airline passengers... They're out there an hour before and they're hunkered down like it's like like the day before Christmas and they're looking for a Cabbage Patch kid, you know. Um, so it can be a little stressful getting on that um, on that shuttle. So we're, we're going to give ourselves about 40 minutes to get a shuttle to the airport 
and then through KCM. That seems like it's too long because we're practically next to the airport, but again, getting on that shuttle can be such a mess that we're going to give, give ourselves a little extra time. So I'm going to see you guys at the airport. I'm going to grab a bite to eat, and then we're going to be heading to Kansas City, I think, then back here, and then home. Whew, I can't wait to go home to my cats. And before I can get to the airport, I have to, this is one more thing I hate about this hotel. I have to take out my bowl, which is in my suitcase. Then I have to grab the food out of my lunch bag. Then I have to go into this like fake Starbucks. Then I have to use this little tiny mic microwave, which is there. And then I have to find a place to eat in the, in the, the hotel. It's just put a microwave at, on the floor or in the room. It, this is just, it's 2024. It's just irritating. Hey guys, hi, hello, little jazz hands. Actually, this is applause. If you if you didn't know, if you're in the deaf community, you uh, you shake your hands instead of clapping to applaud or to show you know excitement. If you're a part of a crowd, blah blah blah. Um, I am I am super excited because I got coffee. We got in line and we were able to get <clears throat> coffee at the coffee bean. I got the iced vanilla spiced oat milk latte something i don't know they're uh, as bad at making names as samsung is for their products but um 131 passengers for our flight to kansas city two hours and 24 minutes um our uh crew seems great uh, my chaser i haven't really had a chance to talk with her much uh but um our flight crew is amazing our our captain uh is gorgeous oh so handsome uh and uh i'm not sure i think he might be on my team but uh he's married sierra who is our first officer she's amazing so yeah great crew i got lots of sleep last night i've got food in my belly and i got some caffeine in my future it's amazing it's a great day uh it's a long day but it's a great day i'll see you later hey guys hi welcome to kansas city i think that's where we are no we're in where are we where are we in? What city are we in? Yeah, we're in Kansas City. Uh, it is bitter cold outside. Look how cute. Oh, he's so cute. No, I don't know. Our baby is so beautiful. Look at that face. I'm going to eat this baby. Oh, my God. Take that baby away. I'm going to eat it. Oh, my God. <gasps> we had some cute babies on the plane today. So, our flight to, I think we're in Kansas City, uh, was very nice. A um, little bit of turbulence, and people, of course, got up during turbulence. It never ceases to really irritate the pants off me because they don't understand how dangerous it is. But um, otherwise, the flight was really quite easy. We had 130 passengers, 131 passengers, um, two hours and 44 minutes. Uh, it is bitter cold out there. I'm not, uh, I'm very, very happy I'm not outside. Uh, and what else is going on? What else is going on? I think that's it. We're going to be heading back to LA and then to Las Vegas, where we're supposed to be home by about 11 o'clock tonight. But we'll see how that goes because we have to be de-iced here in Kansas City. And that can take a very long time. So cross your fingers for me. I will see you in LA. Oh, it's snowing again. Ugh, hate it. Oh, before I forget, before I forget, somebody, one of you, recommended a YouTube channel to me called A Gal Without a Plan. Who was it? I have to thank you. What an inspiring young lady. If you, uh, if you, uh, if you are looking for some content besides mine uh, that is extraordinary on YouTube and very easy, her, not very few of her videos are more than ten minutes. Um, it's a channel called A Gal Without a Plan. I won't ruin the surprise, but in four months, she doesn't she doesn't have that many videos, so I it's a quick watch. But you see her go from absolutely the lowest point. You honestly, she was so low facing her first days of homelessness. I'm not gonna ruin the surprise. And four months later, there's a video involving a cat that had me crying, sobbing in bed last night. I mean so inspirational, unbelievably inspirational, inspirational. The, the the level of human spirit and will and courage and doing what she has to do to get to where she needs to be, acceptance. I mean, unbelievable content. So 
go over and check out it's a gal uh, without a plan. Really, definitely worth watching. All right, so I will see you later. Hi guys. Oh my god, this day is never ending. We're boarding in like 30 seconds, but I'll just stop and say hi. 45 minutes or so to Las Vegas. 109. 195 people booked. I don't know. They're sitting on the wings. I don't know. But uh, I will see you in Las Vegas. Oh my God. Hey. Oh my God. I'm wheezing. Hold on. Catch a breath. Hold on. Oh. oh my God. I'm dying. I'm dying, guys. Hi. So, our flight in Kansas City, we had to de ice. So, we were late anyway. And then we had to de ice. So our flight was late arriving in LA. And as you might know, if one flight is late, everything after that is 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 uh, affected. Oh my God, my lungs. Um, so we're on the flight. It's a 45 minute flight here from LA to Vegas. There's a ton of people going, uh, connecting onto Charlotte, Atlanta, Houston, and one of the place. Um, yeah, so there's a ton of connecting flights. Of course, they're all in the back of the aircraft. So I did my usual pleading for everyone to please just, if you're not going to one of these destinations, if you could just do me a solid, please, please, please just remain seated. Let these, oh my God, can you hear my lungs? Um, let these people off the aircraft first, as you would appreciate if this were happening to you, you yeah, blah, blah, blah. So I just, I was effusive good word usage. I was effusive with my gratitude and my love. Please, please, please. So pretty much everyone knew where they had to go, but there's this one family, absolutely gorgeous family, mom, dad, grandpa, and two little ones. They're going to Atlanta, then connecting on to um, San Juan. The agents in LA knowing they were going to miss their flight to their connection to Atlanta had their giant stroller that came in three parts and weighed a ton. It's like a tank. Uh, they had their final destination for the stroller be in Vegas because they were not going to make their flight. And so they were, they were, they were trying to help. They were trying to help and they did really the right thing, but they didn't expect me to be involved. <clears throat> so um, I talked with the mom and dad and grandpa and said, you know, you're, you are this close to your gate. So run, run, run to your gate, which is A5. We, were, we came in on A15. If you run to your gate, you might make your flight. I'm going to wait after deplaning to get your strollers. And then I'll run, which doesn't happen ever. Uh, these pieces down to A5 and hope I can explain to the agents that they need to continue on to Atlanta and then on to, on to San Juan. Now that story, it might sound like a lot. And I just, honestly, uh, it all kind of came to the plan came to in little pieces and like moments of, aha, maybe I can do this and maybe I can do that. So in the end, um, pretty much everyone was mindful and let our passengers who had to connect get off the plane. They were very, very nice. And most of them, even if they weren't making a connection flight, connecting flight, um, said they appreciated all of our effort. So it was good. Uh, so uh, they got off the plane. Um, I, My friend Chris, who was our chaser on, the, on this last leg of the day, he grabbed my bags brought them to A5 while I grabbed the three pieces of the tank, which is their stroller. It's for twins. And I ran these pieces and then speed walked and then crawled to the gate with these three pieces. And these two agents, gate agents who have been so helpful were able to re-tag them to get to it. Oh, sorry for that quick edit. I had to stop and breathe. Oh, I have uh, asthma and I've got one lung that really works. The other lung isn't a, isn't a team player because of when I was stabbed, you know. Um, but the gate agents were very, very kind uh, and as helpful as they could be. So they reticketed the items to go to Atlanta. And I was able to, 
asked them to um, um, tell the crew on the outgoing flight to Atlanta to ha ask if they could be reticketed those those uh, pieces of the tank so they would go on to San Juan. And I'm hoping that that works out well. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> It may not sound a lot to you if you're not a flight attendant, but I, I honestly am sitting here quite happy with myself because that was a lot of work, hopefully, to make uh, someone's uh, travel nightmare a little less difficult. So very proud of myself right now. Again, another example of me not being very humble, but I feel like I did a good job tonight. So after the, at the end of a terrifically long day, it is... 11.36 in the evening, and you know we started our day at our hotel at noon. Oh my god, my lungs. Can you hear me? <gasps> Wheezing. Um, Alright, so, I am going to go um, home. <laughs> Love on my cats. I am off for two days. At some point in the near future, oh my god, I'm wheezing so badly. I'll put together a short video about... Um, what's going on, my thoughts and feelings on the failed merger. A lot of you have reached out to me. Uh, thank you. We can we can stop with that. <laughs> now I'm very aware of what's going on. Um, but um, what else? What else? What else? Um, and it looks like I'm going to make a video about what is a chaser because I get that question probably once a day these days. But uh, blah, blah, blah. I will talk to you guys later. All right. Fly safe. Bye.